This has been a long time coming. I'm proud to announce that Roko is back. Hey everyone, Oxmonkey here. Wow, it has been over four years since we posted a video. Four years. I can't believe it's been so long. And I've got to say that in the last four years, I've really missed making videos. So with Borderlands 3 coming out, I've decided to start making videos again. Since it has been such a long time, let me reintroduce us. Roko Gaming is made up of myself, Ox Monkey, my two brothers, Ox678 and Jake Starama, and Jake Starama's wife, Kitchen Wench. We've all been gaming for many years. We enjoy playing solo on different games, but we also really love gaming cooperatively. Back in the day, we'd call each other up and say, hey, bro, are you up for playing co-op? Then over time, this shortened into our catchphrase for gaming together, Hey, do you want a Broco? When we started this YouTube channel, we thought that this was the perfect name, and thus Broco Gaming was born. Now, we stopped posting YouTube videos, but none of us has stopped gaming. Never. We're gamers for life. And in the last four years, we've played a ton of games. All four of us really got into playing The Division. Uh, Box 678 loves the Destiny series. Kitchen Wench streamed on Twitch for a while, and she played a boatload of games. Undertales, Telltales, The Binding of Isaac, just to name a few. Jake Starama has been battling it out on Fortnite, and I've also played my share of games. Uh, let's see. Metal Gear Solid 5, Fallout 4, Rise of the Tomb Raider, The Forest, Far Cry Primal, Inside, the list goes on. But my favorite is still the Borderlands series, and when Gearbox announced a few months ago the upcoming release of Borderlands 3, I was so damn excited! So, I started playing Borderlands 2 again to get ready for the new game, and as soon as I did, I remembered why I love this game so much. First thing that always gets me is the art and animation style of the game. I love the look of this game. They gave it that cool comic book graphic novel style and sometimes in the middle of playing I just stop and look around and admire the amazing animation in this game. And I've always really enjoyed the game's story, from the overall story arc to all of the different subplots. You have the usual intense drama of a lot of games, but what I love most is Borderlands' unique warped sense of humor. Sometimes goofy, sometimes dark and disturbing, often enjoyably inappropriate. The perfect example for me is the whole story of Butt Stallion. It cracked me up from the very start when Jack names her. I was gonna call it Pester Brains in honor of you, but that just feels immature. Hey, maybe Butt Stallion? To the end where you feed Butt Stallion Iridium and she poops out loot. It's hilariously messed up on so many levels. Gearbox also has a great sense of humor when it comes to Easter eggs. I love that there are so many Easter eggs in the series. There's gotta be hundreds of them. I, I don't know, maybe millions. From the names of locations, weapons, and gear, to secret missions, to dialogue references, and just a ton more. One of my favorite things in the game is to unexpectedly come across an Easter egg that you know and go, I get that reference. It's, it's so cool. So the humor and Easter eggs are definitely great, but I love Borderlands gameplay even more. I love putting together builds, adjusting skill trees, that trial and error, trying to capitalize on a character's strengths and minimize their weaknesses. And jumping online and seeing what creative ideas other players are coming up with, you know, trying to figure out what gear, skills, and weapons work best together to successfully meet that challenge that I'm up against. And I think that it's this challenge that makes the game really fun. Failure and frustration leading to determination, leading to success in victory. You know that frustration, right? When your hands ache from playing for hours, trying to get damn Omdon Oct to spawn, your eyes sting from not blinking because you're so focused on not dying again, and you feel your enemies are standing over you laughing, so maybe so maybe, there, maybe there's a little crying in there too, and your throat's sore from yelling obscenities because you just went through six long waves of enemies. You're on the final boss, and you forget where you are on the platform and accidentally jump off. I mean, look how low his health was. 
but that frustration makes you determined to try and try and try again until your luck changes and you beat the super tough magic slaughter and defeat the king of orcs or you spawn triple o or you finally get your first solo kill of racidus which brings us to bosses. I love the bosses in Borderlands. From the biggest of the big, like the Son of Cromorax and the Leviathan, to the smallest of the small, like Sandman and Boom, to everyone and everything in between. There's a great combination and balance, I think, with easy mini bosses, mid-level regular bosses, and insanely difficult raid bosses. I love trying to figure out how to defeat each boss with each character, what build and combination of gear is going to get the job done and then going out and trying to find all of those perfect items in the game because we all know that winning the battle is just half the fun scoring the best of what the bosses are carrying is the ultimate reward we're talking about rare drops i love absolutely love farming for rare drops remember Omd Omd Ak? It's not just enough to get him to spawn. You can't stop until you actually get him to drop the ultra rare twister or get the ogre drop from the king of orcs. From rare heads and skins to mods to weapons to relics, I will spend hours and hours and make hundreds of attempts to try to obtain these rare goods. But just like the triple O spawn, there are also a bunch of other great rare spawns that are fun to get. And they take just as much time and effort, like having Vermivorous evolve, or coming across the weird spider pants in Tiny Tina's DLC, or finding the rare tubbies, or the crazy rare score of helping a legendary loot midget Goliath evolve into a legendary midget god -like. So, art design is awesome, Easter eggs are epic, boss battles are badass, but let's get back to that loot. Borderlands is not called a shoot loot for nothing. My hands down favorite part of Borderlands is the loot. Loot explosions, chests, vending machines, just getting my hands on that loot. Digging through loot piles, hoping to score something great, then comparing what you find with what you've got to see what's best. Having millions of guns, shields, mods, grenades, heads, skins, and relics to choose from and play with is what makes Borderlands, for me, my overall favorite series. And I love it. I love it. Before I go, I'd really like to thank everyone who's been so supportive of Broco over the years. During the time when we were actively uploading videos to the four years that we weren't. It's, it's really hard for me to believe that people still watch and like our videos. And even more so that after four years, people are still asking us to come back. Again, I've really missed making these videos. I enjoy the whole entire process of it. I actually started making videos again a few times over the last four years, but didn't finish anything until now. Maybe I'll dust some of those off and finish them up. I don't know. But I'm definitely super excited to play the new Borderlands 3 and start making videos on a regular basis again. So I'll see you soon. Again, thank you so much. Please hit that like button, Ox Monkey.